It's a multi-billion dollar business. That Names like AMP and Monster, children see them as fun and cool. But tonight we take a closer look at the long-term damage they could be causing. Their hands are shaking. I can't, I can't hold still. Their brain is just freaking out. It's what some might call a caffeine rush. Followed by a crash. One can alone is too much, especially for an adolescent. But that's not stopping them. It's estimated 30 to 50 percent of adolescents regularly consume some form of energy drink, often choosing it over water or a sports drink like Gatorade. Go, Eli, go, Eli. Joey Reyes won't let his kids drink them, but almost every day he pops open a five hour energy. It's just to pick me up, get me out the door. If you ask a teenager or an adolescent, why are you drinking this? It's because Mark is. It's because John is. It's because it's cool. But in reality, studies show a kid drinking an energy drink is anything but cool. The American Academy of Pediatrics recently released a report saying children should never drink energy drinks because of the risks involved. Sports dietitian Sloan Taylor says the effect on children can be detrimental. There are some studies related to looking at deaths from um, caffeine intoxication. That's an actual term, caffeine intoxication, where the body cannot handle that much caffeine at one time. For instance, a 16-ounce can of Monster Energy Drink contains 160 milligrams of caffeine. That's equivalent to about four cans of Dr. Pepper or two cups of regular coffee. A 12-ounce Rockstar 2X contains 250 milligrams of caffeine, equivalent to six cans of soda or more than three cups of coffee. Taylor says for adults, that's a lot of caffeine at one time, but for an adolescent, it's enough caffeine to cause permanent damage. There's a potential for um, stunning somebody's growth because if they're not eating and getting enough nutrition and it's being displaced by these items, then they will not grow to their fullest potential. And because energy drinks are classified as a dietary supplement, they're not regulated by the FDA. Some states have tried to pass legislation to restrict the sale of energy drinks to minors, but were unsuccessful. But that's not stopping some businesses from adding their own restrictions. Anybody under 15 cannot buy energy drinks without their parents. Harry Schubert knew by adding the age restriction at his soccer complex he would lose business, but he says it's worth it. Kids think that if they drink these energy drinks, they're going to play better or run faster or, or last longer, and that's not the case. In fact, Steve Freebus, an athletic trainer, says it's the exact opposite. Typically, these kids are coming to us early on, first quarter, within the first hour of their practice, and going, I don't feel well. Knowing they cannot restrict kids from drinking them, schools are turning to what they know best. I think education is the best key to this, letting people know what's going on, what are the dangers. <laughs> Giving children and parents a clearer picture of exactly what energy drinks can do to the body. Unfortunately, what their expectations are and what the, the realities are are vastly different. Experts add the best option for kids is water. Sports drinks like Gatorade and Powerade do contain unnecessary sugars.